Well, hello, and welcome to my first video titled GT Sport The Real Pit Simulator. Now, you're gonna find out why. Um, reason number one and reason number two. That guy has uh, experienced this before. Uh, reason number three. Um, <laughs> so, this is gonna go on for quite a while. I'm gonna take this video opportunity as an opportunity to introduce myself um, with the sim racing community. Um, I'm absolutely loving getting into it. Um, I wanna say on a more professional basis, um, but I just mean more dedicated, I suppose. Um, and yeah, this video is an old video. It's I, I've had problems with my Mac, haven't been able to create videos. Um, and as you can see right now, absolute carnage. Um, I thought I'd stay in the pits here to uh, to just watch the Wreckfest unfold. Um, this is Wreckfest Viper Edition. Um, so I've decided to upload this uh, video um, because I haven't experienced this before. That guy has morphed into the Viper he has literally become Neo. Um, <laughs> I mean, just check it out in the bag, man. <laughs> I just, uh, I've not experienced this before, um, which, which again is why I'm uh, putting this video out there. Um, while on that subject, as you check out the rear end of the pits, <laughs> look at it all. Um, this is not my best race. Um, I do use a wheel. On this race, I was actually using a control pad. Um, I have been using the Logitech G29. Um, I absolutely love that wheel. Um, fully, fully support um, that wheel for anyone that's looking to get into sim racing. It provides everything that you need for a beginner. Um, here we're inside of this man. Looks like he's about to be penetrated in his ass and actually was. Um, but yeah. Um, it's just not my it's not my best race um, but again it's it's a funny intro um, <laughs> and it's a good it's it's a good place for me to introduce myself now you're gonna see the I want to say pros and cons but it's more cons of using a control pad um, I don't really think there are, uh, are any pros of using a control pad. You just everything is just so much more sensitive um, that you can't really. What's the word I want to use? Yes, mate. You can't really fine tune and manipulate the accelerator or the brake or the steering the way you want to with a wheel. Are we out? Yes, we are. We're going to have a little quick close up on the car here just to check the damage before I've even had any control over the car at all. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> um, I forgot where I was, but I will, I will keep going. Um, that was it with regards to the race. So, I've been using a Logitech G29. This is with a control pad. Um, and I have actually uh, been lucky enough and I've been saving for a long time um, and I am the proud owner of a Fanatec CSL Elite, which is the base wheel. Um, but for the direct drive systems alone, you're looking at three times the amount um, that you can purchase a wheel, a base, and pedals um, for, let's say, 500 pounds. And the direct drive is 1200 euros, direct drive 2 is 1500 euros, and that's before a wheel, that's before the pedals, blah de blah, blah So, I must say that the CSL Elite is, um, it is an upgrade, it is an improvement, but there are parts of the Logitech G29 that I miss. The first thing that I missed straight away was the thickness of the steering wheel. Um, the G29 is thicker and um, by the way you can just see on screen there um, it was so hard, so hard with the controller um, constantly losing grip um, so you have to really sort of balance the throttle as, as best you can with the R2 trigger. Um, 
but yeah moving back onto the CSL Elite um, the initial steering wheel uh, that you get with it which is the same as the WRC which is why I actually purchased it because WRC is absolutely um, where I'm at um, Gran Turismo Sport is almost um, like a chill out game for me it's um, just a little bit slow here we are a little bit too eager on the throttle we've spun the car I forget I'm in an FIA race and I'm still absolutely burning the throttle and um, absolutely destroying my tyres completely forget that I've destroyed my tyres and running way too hot um, I decided to accelerate just a little bit at the end because I knew I was going in too hot and I wanted to miss him um, I don't mind my own race being ruined uh, as long as I don't ruin other people's but yes ending on the CSL Elite um, it's an amazing wheel, it is better than the G29, there is a lot more force feedback, you're getting twice as much force feedback, which isn't necessarily better because it, it hurts your arms, especially after um, long periods of use, especially with WRC, um, that requires fast changes, constant changes. Um, and, and, uh, I, th I think to sum up, the G29, you know, you can't go wrong for its price. Um, yes, the CSL is better, but it's similar. Um, and here we've lost a little bit of control we're, we're balancing the throttle to keep it um, keep the car on track not that that really matters um, I don't think I think we uh, have a little bit of an accident in a minute can't quite remember um, I think you could take that corner flat out touching 160 miles an hour um, I've messed it up you saw the back end squirming for traction um, and we've, we've overrun ourselves absolutely smashing the throttle again not you know not too interested anymore with regards to setting a qualifying lap on that run um, so we go back into the pits we get the fresh tires on and we can we see what we can do here um, so this is the moment that I knew I'd fucked up <laughs> um, so I, I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo Sport um, I think a video titled The Real Penalty Simulator, which has probably already been done, um, would be on a, an, an apt video um, for um, what you experience quite often in Gran Turismo. But they have just released Gran Turismo 7, so I'm hoping that things will be, um, things will be different, things will be changed. Um, today is Monday the 15th that I'm recording this, which is... Um, I think one of the races on Gran Turismo Sport is a rally race. So I'll be interested to see what they've done with the um, collision penalty system. Um, yeah, I think also just to end on the Fanatec, and I mean I will be doing a specific video, but I have just sort of, it is new to me, um, you know. It's very similar to, to the G29, um, but I'll tell you what's absolutely um, different and um, groundbreakingly different is the pedals now I wanted the three pedal setup but I did only choose the two pedal setup because it was 89 euros and I think the three pedal was 230 so it was an extra 130 40 euros just for a flipping pedal I don't know whether you got a load cell break in that as well um, but I only went for the two pedals because I thought well rally and Gran Turismo and GT3 cars they're all you know two pedals and shifters but the the level of feel is so much better on the CSL Elite. Um, the brake, the brake has a little sort of foam cushion behind it, but it works so well. Um, and you have this tiny little gap to where you push the brake, um, and you have a little bit of contact with the foam, um, and you know that you've just initiated the brake. It's a tiny little bit of brakes. Um, here we are. Rocking 17th position, the King TMK444, <laughs> and uh, that dickhead. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Everyone's uh, everyone's lovely in their own way. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for more feel, um, totally the CSL Elite is sort of. You are going to get more feel. Um, comparing the CSL Elite to the direct drive wheels, um, obviously there is more feel there, but they do sort of 
they say it's, it's similar, it's just not as direct, because obviously you have that sort of belt mechanism. But here we are coming up to turn one. You can see that my lights are flashing. Um, that wasn't me, and I've noticed that it does that in a few games. Now, I don't know whether that's because the car in front is slower and the, uh, the, the, the coding's like... Um, decides to flash, I don't know. Um, running a little bit tight coming into this corner. See the flashing again? It's not me, but it's happening. Um, tucking into the slipstream. I think towards the end of this road straight, we hit 160. What do we get? 164, 164 miles an hour. Hard on the brakes. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a strange corner initially. You see that tiny tap? Tiny tap. Look at this. Look at this bullshit. <laughs> um, it is quite aggravating, the penalty system. It's made me rage a lot. Um, getting a nudge there as well. At this point, I was absolutely sort of thinking, here we go. Here we go. But I sort of keep it together and I think, well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just sort of keep going. We've got a nice drift on there. Keep control of the car. Um, but obviously we'll keep going. We'll see where we come. It is an FIA race, but this was sort of at the beginning of my journey getting back into GT Sport and racing. Um, I used to do it a lot as a child with a G29. Um, and getting back into it, I've been playing a lot of uh, GT Sport, World Rally uh, 9. Um, I do play project cars because I do think it's funny. Um, it, it, project cars gives you, gives you a level of... Um, level of gameplay and interactivity that th these games don't. I, f I do find that, see the flash in, it's just not me. Give him a bump. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get a penalty because it wouldn't surprise me. Um, penalties all around actually here. So I've absolutely lost my train of thought again. I do apologise if, uh, if I do that. Um, well, I do do that a lot. So we're all going to be slowing down here. <laughs> uh, my penalty wasn't as long as theirs, so fortunately I get to push through. Um, we're currently in 12th, so we have moved up um, a fair few positions. Um, but yeah, it, this was sort of the beginning of back into the journey. And the reason why I'm using a control pad is because I wasn't at my house, but I had an account and I wanted to just get on and race. Um, and because of the incident at the beginning, um, I ended up saving it to be able to show you guys. And obviously this is now my opportunity to be able to create videos. So that guy there is facing the wrong way. I don't recommend that you do that if you're um, looking to race. So that puts us up into 10th position, um, which is semi-surprising, um, but keep watching. I'm sure different events will happen. He comes up on the inside. That guy there, I think he saw me come in <laughs> and um, slammed on the brakes. Um, it, it, like I mentioned, though, it's very difficult with the control pad. You, you, your level of control is it's it's almost on off, even though you do have the triggers. It's just by no means as sensitive as um, using uh, pedals. Um, the G29 is so much better, um, the CSL is even better because there's so much more feel, you can modulate where you are on the pedal, whereas with the G29 I found that it was almost quite difficult, I didn't really, I couldn't really feel anything. Um, so obviously we've sped the video up here, it's quite a long race. Um, and since two places there, two places, so that's happy days for me. Um, but since getting back into GT Sport, I have really been enjoying it. See, giving that guy a flash as well. <laughs> um, I have really been enjoying it. It's a lot of fun um, getting back into it and doing it with a... <sighs> I don't say professional mindset, but with a mindset to just sort of, if uh, nothing I am going to do will be, if I'm not going to enjoy it, I'm not going to do it. This is purely for enjoyment, but obviously I, at the same time, I want to succeed. So I'm not looking at being the world's best. I think that's just a stressful, a stressful um, goal that's just going to create more pain than happiness. Um, but yes, I do want to compete. Um, I do want to get into this more. I absolutely love it. 
um, I love competing. I love competing with people that you know. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, games like Wreckfest, you know, for instance, you just can't deny that it just puts a smile on your face. But obviously, Gran Turismo Sport and games like Assetto Corsa, iRacing, um, which I will be getting into once I have a PC. Um, I do have a set of course that competes only on PlayStation 4, but I cannot play it. The um, frame rate is uh, is horrible. Um, I might give it another go though, because um, I can manage Project Cars 3. Um, while I talk about Project Cars 3, the, the handling is atrocious. <laughs> but you can sort of get to a place where it's it, it becomes 70-80% okay. And it is, it is, like I say, it's a lot of fun. And, it gives you something that the games don't do. Um, other games don't give you. So we've fallen back into 13th position here. Um, trying to clip the apex as best I can. Again, it's very difficult with the control pad. Um, but here we are on the inside line, keeping it out and we're back in. Um, straight on the throttle. And hopefully clip that apex which we do we've got the run out you see the flashes again it is just not me flashing I am not sure what that is about um, but yeah um, Gran Turismo Sport has um, it's given me I, the, 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 just to be able to I think what I'm trying to say is you know we all own we all have this one life and it ultimately is very short and although your life may may be um, one full long 70 to 80 90 years you're only going to have sort of i don't know 10 20 years of a time period where you're really going to get stuck into something to enjoy competitively and i am a musician and um, i am the macabre king um i have a music studio ragnarok records 444 um that's what I am about but sim racing has become my number one hobby my go-to thing it's you know it, it does drain calories it drain it is mental um, it does put a smile on your face you work in your arms you work in your legs um, so you do sort of you know you, you know about it it's, it, it's, it's a level of fitness you're not just sat there on a control pad um, but I've decided to get stuck into this properly, so you'll be seeing many more videos of me, more streams. Um, I'm looking to get set up properly. I do have Streamlabs OBS, so um, I'll be able to have all the nice overlays. Um, but at the minute, I'm just setting everything up, which we're very nearly there. Um, which is why I'm able to create this video for you guys. But what I'm trying to say is I've decided to put my time into uh, sim racing. You know, we all only have... Um, X amount of time on this planet and I want to put it into sim racing so I will look at getting all the top gear um, I am a cockpit driver and um, this is why I have put this on here so you guys can just sort of get a little bit of an idea um, I do race in the cockpit view um, I use the next level GT track with the Fanatec CSL Elite um, and I have a 75 inch TV um, I mean, please don't think I'm boasting, you know, I, I, I have no money, it's took me forever to save up to this and, and I've obviously spent my money on this because it's something that I've decided to put my money into and time into and I want to enjoy it. Um, and I do, what I've set up I absolutely love and I enjoy. But ultimately my idea is to have th uh, three TVs set up, um, I'll be using motion simulation, so uh, next levels V3 um, and Traction Plus. Um, and using a head cam um, so it'll look like you guys are in the car with me that's ultimately um, my goal hopefully throughout time people um, would be so kind to support me um, because I do like sandwiches <laughs> it's nice to eat every now and then um, <laughs> but no I mean you know just your support here watching this video is, is, is amazing obviously smash that like button because that really helps me as uh, grow as a YouTuber um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot more content coming your way. Um, I play World Rally Championship 9 and Gran Turismo Sport a lot. I'm playing Project Cars 3 at the minute. 
um, for a bit of a laugh. I do play a little bit of Wreckfest, but I'm kind of waiting for the gearbox now because I kind of want to play that with a gearbox for the immersivity because it's just so much fun with a gearbox. Um, so all that will be happening and again because I'm getting into it properly um, I need to invest in a PC which for Christ's sake they are so expensive. <laughs> um, you can see why uh, console gaming is popular but anyway We'll be going into PC and we'll be looking at a set of course, or even though we have that on PlayStation, it just runs smoother on PC. Um, we will be playing iRacing um, and just getting stuck in with it, just having fun with it. Hopefully meeting some of the YouTubers, having a laugh. Um, so yeah, your support would be absolutely appreciated. And here we are, we've finished 11th. So we, we've gone from second to last and we've moved up to 11th with a race that wasn't particularly um, very good on a control pad, but nevertheless, here we are. So we've moved up six positions, absolutely trashed Viper there. Um, and I just wanna thank you for watching this video. Um, like again, there's gonna be more coming. Um, I'm excited to get on board and create for you guys so that's me i wish you guys the very best um if you want to get into it treat yourself to a g29 get yourself on track it's uh it's worth it thanks for watching peace